हेलो हेलो माइक टेस्ट Hello financial programmers I'm Rithvik Dasora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings in this video I'll be talking about matplotlib library which is used in finance domain and in the last video we talked about a numpy library this is the code that we created and as i mentioned in the last video as well um, this playlist is just focused to learn all different aspects of python library which are useful in the field of finance right i will not talk about any other things which are not useful in uh, your financial applications and we'll just cover for this playlist i am taking some of the materials that i have made for my course on python for financial programming and watch this video till till the end and you'll see all the benefits of enrolling in this course perfect let's come back to the code that we have written in the last video which is numpy in order to import matplotlib library you can just import it like this import matplotlib and uh, press tab it will suggest you this in most of the cases it is uh in installed by default but if it's not there in your system then in that case you'll have to use pip install and then matplotlib right and then run this right in the, in my case it's already installed so i am going to stick to this i am actually importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt in this video we'll be talking about line chart scatter chart bar graphs uh pie charts etc so let's uh, make these two arrays which is array x points uh, and y points is equal to np dot array and then zero comma six and zero comma two fifty right <clears throat> now I want to create a plot of uh, using these two arrays then in that case what I can do is I can just write plt dot plot and then x points comma y points and then plt dot show right you'll see there is a straight line in front front of you where x axis starts from zero and ends at six. And y axis starts from zero and ends at two fifty. So there is a straight linear line in front of you. Now, what if y points is somewhat different? So let me just write another y points here, right? So I have actually provided a different array, which is three, eight, one, ten, uh, as y points. Let's just plot y points, right? And then plt dot show. Let's see what is the graph. You can see it's a zigzag line, and y axis ranges from one. To ten and x x is ranges from zero to three, right? Now, what if we want to provide some marker? Then in that case, I will do marker is equal to let's just write O, right? Small letter, small case O. Let's also provide the line style to be dashed, right? Then in that case, you'll see a dashed line uh, plot, and all the markers are actually now highlighted. If you had used a star here, it would have been like this one. So let's stick to O only, right? Now this graph looks very ambiguous because there is no x-axis title or y-axis title presented over because we don't know what is x-axis and y-axis. Then in that case, we can just provide plt dot x label and then just write the x-axis, which is say just x-axis, and then the same goes with y label. I'll have to change this to y. Let's change to change this to x x y axis. Let's also provide the title of this particular chart, which is our chart, right? And then location is equal to center. If I run this cell, you will see that we have got x axis, y axis, and our chart, which is the title name, in center. Now suppose we have two arrays, x array and y array, with different numbers. As you can see, now I want to plot a scatter plot. Right then, in that case, what I'm going to do here is plt dot scatter. I'll just provide x and y here, and then plt dot show. You'll see a scatter plot in front of you. Now, what if uh, you have different points that in that you need to show with different colors? Then, in that case, let's just provide the x and y arrays here again. And I have actually provided color is equal to red as well. Now, I'll provide another x and y here, which are these these numbers. Again, everything is random, and the Color of this particular one would be blue. In the end, plt dot show, and you can see uh, the scattered plot in red and blue pointers uh, spreaded across this chart. Again, you can provide x axis and y axis uh, and chart name and title name for this graph as well by providing uh, x label, y label, and title. Now, suppose uh, x array is a, b, c, and d, y array is three, eight, one, and ten. 
then in that case i am actually interested to make a bar graph so what i'll do is i'll just write plt dot bar right x comma y let's just make color to be red right and then plt dot show you can see a bar graph in front of you now what if i wanted horizontally right this is also used a lot in investment banking side we make horizontal bar graphs and just write h here and then run this you can see horizontal bar graph if you want to reduce the uh, the width of this one all the bars then in that case just provide height is equal to say 0.4 then in that case you'll see height of all the the width of all the bars have been reduced to 0.4 Four. Now let's see uh, how to make a pie chart. Suppose y and y is a is a is an array of thirty five, twenty five, twenty five and fifteen, and labels are basically it's a list of four different countries: U.S., India, China, and Europe. And I want to make a pie chart of this data. Then what I'll do is plt dot pie. Inside this, I can just provide y labels is equal to labels plt dot show. You'll see all the uh, the entire pie chart in front of you us europe china and india right now i want legends separately for example or i would say let's get legends separately as well uh, along with the with the chart so what i'll do here is i'll just write plt dot legend right you'll see legend separately as well now if suppose you are interested to explode one of them for example you want to explode uh, us or you want to scoop out us a bit uh, outwards and in that case let's just provide explode is equal to 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 so basically i want to bring us a bit outside from the pie chart then in that case i'll just use explode is equal to explode if i run this you can see us is a bit outside of this pie chart so yes that's it guys for this video if you want to learn matplotlib in more detail and want to exercise and want to practice it with some quizzes and assignments then i highly recommend you to go through my course which i recently launched on python for financial programming and the link is in the description box just select one of these things for indian rupee this one for uh, other currencies this one and you'll see this page in front of you uh, if you scroll down a bit you'll see the usps of this course which has five sessions 10 chapters 22 videos 10 interactive quizzes three challenging assignments two live projects and one live session per month and these are the two live projects you can pause and read what are what it is about and this is the entire syllabus of the course you can see it starts with as basic as python for finance what is python for finance most important functionalities of python and you'll see different libraries are covered here as well numpy matplotlib pandas date time scipy.stats etc in much more detail with a lot of practice and a lot of study materials that i have provided here here on this course the usps of this course are these two live projects which are on stock analysis and investment portfolio creation and the best thing is that this entire pentagon which is in front of you is available at a very very cheap price currently because we are running a discount campaign which will be ending very very soon it's a 40 percent instant discount if you use the code rtk40 and you'll see the the cost of the entire course which includes the entire thing that i've talked about is very very small but yeah again it's for a very limited time period and uh, i will see you in the course um that's it for this video in the next video i'll be talking about pandas library which is again covered in this course in much detail so yeah i'll see you in the next video until then peace